So please trust me when I say and welcome the remarkable Leslie Newman. Thank you so much. It's wait, really, oh, wait, wait. 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 Um, this is called the Making a Difference Award. It's modeled after uh, a beautiful piece of sculpture in Casper done by Chris Navarro, representing the Doves Go to Heaven. It's in two pieces. Oh, gorgeous. I'm a little verklempt. Thank you so much. It means so much to me to be here with all of you and to be honored with two of my great heroes, Dennis and Judy. Uh, it really means more to me than words can say. And there are many other personal heroes of mine in the room. I don't know exactly where they are. Uh, Jason Marsden, who's been up on the stage a couple of times, and everyone else who is from the Matthew Shepard Foundation. Jim Osborne is here somewhere, big gay Jim, who, who worked so hard to make Wyoming live up to its name, the Equality State. Kathy Renna is somewhere, LGBTQ activist extraordinaire. Anne McNair and Matt Alber, Matt who sang to you before, who are representing Consperari, the choral group that performs the Fusion Oratorio considering Matthew Shepard so beautifully. Michelle Houseway, who created the amazing film, Matt Shepard is a friend of mine, so we would know more about Matt's life. Vicki Monaco sitting up here, my treasured BFF for more than half a century. And her husband, Rob Weisskrau, my fabulous friend-in-law. And Mary Grace Newman Vasquez, my beloved spouse of 30 years who teaches me, who teaches me every single day the meaning of unconditional love. Oh, I know. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about Matthew Shepard lately. I think about him often, especially during the month of October. I remember October 12th, 1998, the day I flew to Laramie to be the keynote speaker for the University of Wyoming Gay Awareness Week. I remember meeting Jim Osborne, who tied this yellow ribbon around my sleeve and wrapped me in his arms in a big bear hug. I remember standing on stage in front of the university students, who despite everything they were going through, had come to hear me talk about my book, Heather Has Two Mommies. I remember staring down at the front row where the students from the LGBT Association sat looking up at me, their young, beautiful faces so full of sorrow, hope, and fear. I remember noticing that there was an empty seat in the middle of the front row. And I remember thinking, that's Matthew Shepard's seat. Matt should be sitting there. The image of that empty seat has stayed with me for 20 years. I think about that empty seat in the morning when I sit down in my own empty seat to pick up a pen and a notebook and do my best to give voice to the voiceless, to speak for those who can no longer speak for themselves. In the Jewish tradition, there is a concept known as tikkun olam, which means repairing the world. Every Jew is given this assignment at birth. It's a big job for a little baby. <laughs> Luckily, it is understood that no one is expected to fulfill this assignment alone, and the task will probably not be completed in one's lifetime. But that doesn't let us off the hook. When I graduated from high school, I hitchhiked from New York out to Boulder, Colorado, with a copy of On the Road in my pocket, <laughs> this is true, to study at the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poetics, 
with another one of my heroes, Allen Ginsberg. Allen taught us about the romantic poet John Keats' theory of negative capability, which he defined as the mysterious ability to hold two contradictory ideas in one's head at the same time. When I was finishing my book, October Morning, A Song for Matthew Shepard, I felt complete and incomplete at the same time. I had finished telling the story, but something felt unfinished. And I knew I needed one last poem, and the only way I would find it would be to return to Laramie. And when I did, Big Gay Jim very kindly took me to the place where his friend had been killed. And I remember what he so clearly said to me. He said, I love this land. It's so very beautiful. And I hate this land because something so very ugly happened here. A perfect example of negative capability. Our world is full of ugliness. And our world is full of beauty. It is up to each of us to make a difference in memory of Matt Shepard, a young man who I never had a chance to meet, but to whom I owe so much. Because I have been telling Matt's story for the past 20 years, I have met literally thousands of people. I have met high school students and college students. I have met teachers and librarians. I have met actors and activists. I have met parents and poets, and I've yet to meet a single person who has not been moved by hearing Matt's story. As it says on the placard on the bench erected in his memory on the University of Wyoming campus, he continues to make a difference. Everyone in this room continues to make a difference. Just by being here and supporting the Matthew Shepard Foundation, you are making a difference. Every time you do something kind for another person, you are making a difference. As Allen Ginsberg famously said, while I'm here, I'll do the work. And what's the work? To ease the pain of living. Together, <laughs> together we can ease the pain of living that so many people feel on a daily basis. And as we all know, the suicide rate of LGBTQ youth is very high. You never know when a small act of kindness can have a large impact on someone. It can save a life. And in Judaism, we say, when you save one life, you save the entire world. I found the last poem of October morning as I stood on the prairie and felt the Wyoming wind blowing through my hair, the Laramie land under my feet, and the rough bark of a buck rail fence against the back of my hand. It is a prayer, and I dedicate it to everyone who is doing their best to make a difference and create peace in our beautiful, broken world. Pilgrimage. I walk to the fence with beauty before me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I walk to the fence with beauty behind me. Yit gadal the yit kadash. I walk to the fence with beauty above me. O madne padne hum. I walk to the fence with beauty below me. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit. I reach the fence surrounded by beauty, wail of wind, cry of hawk. I leave the fence surrounded by beauty, sigh of sagebrush, hush of stone. Thank you. Thank you.